Welcome to Crafty Music Tips. This is the Sing It Live Christmas album behind the scenes series. And if you've been watching them so far, you'd be quite accustomed to me, Crafty, sitting down with Darren at his computer talking about the sounds. This is a different type of video. Darren's having a day off. And I'm going to talk to the singers that were involved in the song Silent Night. Hey, everyone. It's Mel. I'm Nikki. Hi, my name is Chloe Castledine. I'm one of the singers for Sing It Live. At the beginning of this whole process, Darren got in contact with everybody and got us all to list our favourite Christmas tunes or Christmas carols that we would love to sing. He collected all of the tunes, all of our wish lists, and sifted through them and picked what would fit his channel best. So I was pretty thrilled to be assigned Silent Night, especially with Nikki and Melissa. They are awesome. Darren asked me, did I know the song? Of course, have you? No Silent Night. We've got to be really careful with Silent Night because you don't want to over sing it and there's the opportunity to really destroy it. So we thought we'd keep it fairly simple, pretty gentle, so that we still remain true to the classic. Christ the Saviour is born. Christ the Saviour. It's just one of those songs, Silent Night, that we've all sung so many times, but there's something about singing in harmony with other voices that just makes it all that more meaningful. And having the beautiful Darren on piano, of course, it was a really stripped back, fragile kind of uh, video, and uh, we loved putting it together for you. So I hope you enjoy it too. When Darren first assigned us the song, him and I had a bit of a chat about how to arrange the piece and who would we assign which section to. I decided to actually arrange the vocal harmonies for us three. And a week before I sat down, recorded all of the harmony parts for Melissa and for myself and for Nikki. And so I sent them their isolated parts to them so they could have a listen to what they needed to sing. So by the time we got into the studio, we knew what we were doing and it took us a very short time to lock in and sing together perfectly. I think it was perfect. I don't know. We all know how it goes. There's been a billion different versions of it. So I didn't actually prepare at all. Um, we were just rocking up and knowing that we would either do the first verse, the second verse or the third verse. And um, when we got there, that just I happened to be doing the final one. And, you know, Chloe's amazing. She planned all of the layers of harmonies and stuff. So not that I had to do that because I came in in the last bit. So I was just singing the lead and all the beautiful harmonies are around it. And I was kind of lucky in that sense. I just sang the lead line. Although I did struggle a bit with the last verse, I will tell you that, because for some reason I did struggle a little bit with the lines. It just It's not, I mean, I guess I haven't really sung that far into the into the traditional carol many times, you know, so I kind of just had to really did have to think a bit about the lyrics, but otherwise silent night, silent night. It was just, it was a beautiful experience. Kind of like yeah. the second verse of the national anthem. <laughs> exactly, yes. <laughs> you get to the end of the first verse, it, there's another verse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I was standing off camera but facing Chloe and Mel as they did their pieces I felt like I was in the audience for the first part so it was you know I got to hear Chloe roar doing her thing and watch her deliver that emotion. We had the best time in the studio not so much for singing although we enjoy that it's just we use that as an opportunity to catch up and so <laughs> while we were there catching up we thought we'd sing a song. From thy holy fires, with the dawn of redeeming grace. I say that I completely blame Darren for my dramatic entrance through the door at the back. 
So we had a little a bit of trouble finishing each take. There were a couple of funny moments with Mel doing the entrance because Karen wanted her coming through the, the curtain and she felt like maybe is this a bit dicky but we were like no it's amazing it's great we kind of had the giggles <laughs> <laughs> there's a section where melissa has to walk through the curtains and she reveals herself to sing the second verse of silent night it's quite funny and a little bit cheesy every time she walks through the curtains i found it hilarious <laughs> and i got the giggles <laughs> And so then she would get the giggles and then we'd have to stop and start again. So then we'd start from the beginning because obviously we're going from the beginning to end. We want to do one clean take. But then she'd walk through the curtains again and then I would just crack up laughing because it was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and she couldn't keep a straight face. So we had to do it again. So it's the third time round. Darren thought it might be a good idea at the time. Love you, Daz. I had to resort to looking away from her and pretending to look at her and nodding my head and totally just thinking of something else so that she could get through the curtain and deliver her song very seriously because I guess Silent Night's not a super comical song. <laughs> But you'll see that my face is deadpan, but inside I'm dying. I'm dying. Just melting and trying really hard not to laugh. I'm melting! Melting! So we eventually got through a couple of takes without giggles, but not without a lot of struggle from myself and Melissa, and we weren't we didn't look at each other because we just couldn't <laughs> sleep in heavenly peace. It's hilarious. Um, sorry, Darren, that was his idea and he really wanted her to walk through the curtains and we support his vision, but I just couldn't stop laughing. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we got a laugh out of it in the end. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoy it too. It's like an old pair of familiar slippers, you know. They, it comes around again and... We're back into it, we slide in and, yeah. And, you know, sometimes someone does a remake and it's like, wow, oh, that's kind of cool. I mean, I was. it's funny because I'm a, I'll, be, I'll confess I'm a little bit grinchy. I get quite overwhelmed with the whole Christmas thing. <laughs> it's not really my vibe, uh, but I play along and do that. Um, but with the music, I mean, there, there's some beautiful Christmas songs. It's music, right? And, and um, so I do have some favourites. This morning I was doing Pilates and they cranked out the Christmas playlist. <laughs> so I'm doing all my all my exercises in a group set scenario. And I heard, I think they had three versions of Last Christmas, the original and then two others that I've never heard of them, but, but like in an hour class. Last Christmas I gave you my heart. I was really appreciating the fact that there was so many different age groups of women in this class and everyone was commenting on the playlist. appreciate the familiarity and you know it's that time of year and I don't know it's it's kind of cool it's neither here nor there to be honest sometimes I go oh we're here again we're going to hear all I want for Christmas is you in every Woolworths and <laughs> everywhere we go on replay uh but you know hey it's cool it's it, does, it does sort of force you whether you like it or not to do feel you like Christmassy it? you like it how do you feel about Christmas songs Oh, I used to be very anti quite a long time ago when I was the the hipster only be happy <laughs> playing music that is obnoxious, basically. That was me in another yeah. lifetime, it feels like, ago. And so anything that was major scale and happy and uplifting, nah, just I just sort of really I resisted it. And then being really interested in other different music styles and genres made me then go, oh, Christmas carols. One year in particular, it was probably about 12 years ago now, I just remember I sort of went nuts. I just learned all of these Christmas carols and then realised, oh, oh, that's the melody. And my brain, the super nerdy muso that goes, 
Oh, so it starts on the 3rd. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, so all of that stuff, it entertains me and stimulates the brain to no end, really, because then, as you say, then you've got all the different ways that you can do different versions. Yeah, so I guess to answer the question now, I love them and I'm not always out at the shops, so I don't I don't feel like, ah, oh, go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've got Christmas here this year, so I'm hosting. You know, it's going to be hot here, obviously, super hot in Adelaide, I think. We've got a pool, so, you know, we'll all be hanging out by the pool. It'll be a very laid back Christmas. Christmas Day ends up being a bit of a day of rest for me because leading up to Christmas is insane with all the events that we are fortunate enough to be able to do and it just takes up a lot of time so there's just Christmas songs Christmas songs Christmas songs Christmas songs and so by the time it gets to Christmas I don't want to hear another song and I just want to sit there and stuff my face Sleep in heavenly peace. so get your candles out and sing with us on this video. We'd love to hear you. Really hope you're enjoying all of the beautiful Christmas songs that Sing It Live has been sharing this last week. We've had a great time putting all the material together for the Christmas album. And Darren works so hard behind the scenes to bring all of this material to you. And it really is such a privilege and such a beautiful experience to make music with all these friends and wonderful musicians that we have right here in Adelaide. So thanks very much to all of you, our supporters. Merry Christmas, and we will see you for more Sing It Live next year. All right. Many thanks to Chloe, Mel, and Nikki. You guys rock. Thank you so much for chatting with me today. I hope that you watching this learnt something from them with their infinite amount of wisdom and insight into the recording process. And if you haven't already done so, Check out the Sing It Christmas album. It's available on all the streaming platforms. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the Sing It Live YouTube channel. And while you're at it, the Crafty Music Tips YouTube channel has a bunch of different music tips related videos here that you can check out to help you along your musical journey. So that's it for me. There's a few more songs because there's a few more days to Christmas. So I'll see you in the next behind the scenes video. Merry Christmas. <laughs>